Hey everybody, I'm doing a little short video about the Align 70 amp speed control that comes on a lot of these T-Rex 500s. I'm going to show you how to program it and what options are available. Actually, there are six different options available that you can change in your speed control. The first one is the brake, electronic timing, battery protection, aircraft, throttle response speed, and our battery eliminator circuit output voltage. And when I found the best way to do this is to make a list first of what you want to do. And I start off with the number one. I make a one for brake. will be the first one. There's three choices there. You got brake disabled, soft brake, hard brake. Of course, it's helicopter. We don't want any brakes. So this one is uh, brake disabled. Is low stick. So I'm going to put number one a number one here and then I'm going to put an L over there for low stick. Number two is the timing and there's three choices there. You get low, mid, and high timing and I normally go with the mid timing and that's going to be middle stick. Number three is battery protection. Uh, that determines when the aligned speed control starts pulsing when the battery gets down to a certain point it'll power up and down and it'll make your tail swing two or three inches you know your battery's starting to get low and you know it's time to get back and park that thing on the ground uh, number three we're going to go with the high cutoff voltage protection and the low stick because that gives you 3.2 volts uh, the other option on that is mid cutoff that shuts it off at three volts which is a little bit low in my opinion uh, number four is aircraft and I don't know why but they seem like they come from the factory with the airplane mode in them uh, they start awful fast to make your blades fold when you when you try to start them so we want to uh, the other two choices are soft start helicopter soft start mode and helicopter soft start mode with governor and I actually use the governor mode on this. Uh, I called the line and talked to them about it and uh, they told me that it doesn't work very well and I thought well I'll just try it anyway. What it does is it uh, you can't program any speeds, any RPMs into it or anything. It just kind of tries to hold it around where you have it preset into your radio. Say if you have it at 75 percent throttle and you pitch up real hard it throws a little extra current in there. Uh, like I said, it's not an exact thing, but it works better than nothing. And I actually think it works pretty good for, for sport flying and stuff. So I'm going to go with number four. I'm going to go with high stick. And I'll explain to you about this, this low, mid, and high stick here in just a minute. And number five, throttle response speed. We want that on, on quick. There's three different choices there, standard, medium, and quick speed. And that's going to be quick, it's going to be high stick. And then number six is your BEC output voltage. That's the voltage that it's going to send to your servos and your receiver. And I'm going to go with the middle one, which is 5.5 volts. So we're going to go mid stick on that. So see, I just made a a simple little list with my options here and where I'm going to have my stick when I'm programming it. And when you're programming, real simple, this is going to be low stick, that's going to be mid stick, of course that's going to be high stick. Now for this to work, the first thing you need to do is go into your normal throttle curve, your normal mode, and it has to be a linear curve. In other words, it has to be a straight line curve. I know you probably can't see this on my radio. Maybe you can now. Anyways, it's 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. If you don't have that set, it won't work. So I can't stress enough to go in there and change your throttle curve to a linear curve. Now to access this you put your stick on high and you plug your helicopter in <clears throat> you 
you'll hear some beeping here. And when you hear that, go to low stick. That gets you into the program. You're going to hear it beep once, one beep five times. And I want low stick. So I got low stick on number one. Now we're going to two. We're going to get two beeps five times. And I want mid stick there. Now we're on number three. I want low stick. We're going to get three beeps five times. And now we're on number four. I want high stick number four. I'm going to get four beeps five times. Okay, now we're going to number five. I want high stick again, so I'm just going to leave my stick right where it's at. We're going to get five beeps five times. Okay, now we're going to number six. I want mid stick. We're going to get six beeps five times. Okay, it's done. Unplug your helicopter. Put your stick all the way down to all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you're in normal mode. And the way you can check it is uh, you can plug this back in and when it's done with its initial beep for low will be one beep. For mid for a mid stick, if you programmed it on mid stick, it's gonna be two beeps. And if you programmed it on high stick, it's gonna give you three beeps. It only tells you the first five. It won't tell you what number six is. Okay? So you're going to get, when you plug it in, you're going to get a series of five beeps, and you can tell what your programming is by the number of beeps it gives you. I'm going to plug it in so you'll see now. Should be one beep, and then two beeps, and then one beep. And then three beeps. And then three beeps again. That's how you can tell if you got it programmed like you had it set up here on the sheet. Just remember it won't give you number six. All right, hope that helps you guys with your speed control. Uh, everybody have a nice day, and I pray our Father in heaven will keep you and your family safe and healthy. And Happy flying. Bye-bye, everybody.